Bill Gates revealed Neo stock will produce overnight billionaires this year. Well, 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 electric vehicles are the future of the world and people are crazy about investing in them. Why shouldn't people like Bill Gates be in favor of such companies and have high hopes for them? Investing in electric vehicles is a fantastic concept, but there are certain obstacles to overcome, such as batteries. Electric vehicle manufacturers in China, NIO, continue to fall sharply after a series of headwinds hit the company in April and into the opening days of May. Today, we'll discuss why NIO is decreasing and why it will make billionaires overnight. Well, that's what Bill Gates thinks and talks about apparently. So stick with the video until its conclusion because it'll be more entertaining than ever before. Today, we're going to talk about everything. Stocks, stock market news, Tesla stock, GME, AMC, making money, and more in this video. The stock market never ceases to amaze us, so keep up with the latest stock market news. For years, the electric vehicle movement has been gaining traction, with low-cost charging stations springing up across the country, moving from gasoline-powered automobiles has never been easier. NEO has been heavily hurt by supply chain problems affecting the global economy, particularly Chinese enterprises. Is there, however, an opportunity to acquire NEO shares for the first time since August 2020 below $14? Bill Gates may no longer be the CEO of Microsoft, but his actions are still closely scrutinized throughout the world, and some of his recent stock market moves have caused a stir. The Microsoft pioneer famously anticipated a pandemic similar to the coronavirus and is now looking ahead. Gates has been selling several of his stocks and refocusing his assets, which experts see as a foreshadowing of another impending financial collapse. According to the argument, if Bill Gates believes certain industries are growing more dangerous, they are. With supply chain disruptions hurting the global economy, particularly the Chinese economy, firms will be heavily hit economically. Is this, however, a window of opportunity to acquire NEO shares for the first time since August 2020? Since the beginning of April, NEO shares have been in severe decline. They've already dropped more than 30% since then. This is due in large part to China's rigorous zero COVID lockdown policy. As a result, only 5,074 units were sold in April, and, according to iShare, this was over 50% lower than March sales and nearly 30% lower than the same period last year. More than 80 more firms, including NEO, have been added to the SEC's list of companies facing delisting if they do not comply with more open financial accounting standards. The news had a net negative impact on Chinese stocks, particularly NEO, which fell about 4% as soon as the news broke in March. However, news that Chinese regulators were reconsidering their strict regulatory policies for U.S. listed companies led to Chinese stocks having their best trading days in 14 years. The share MSCI China ETF gained 20% in a single day, while NEO gained 36% in the same trading session. Although there is still a chance that an I could be delisted, it is hoped that Beijing will be more cooperative when it comes to U.S. listed stocks. The stock of NEO is still not a bargain. Based on the current macroeconomic backdrop, NEO is a classic example of a long-term growth stock that investors don't want to hear about. NEO is a high-risk tech investment that isn't expected to turn a profit until 2024. The price to profits multiple based on earnings per share for 2024 is still over 60 times, which is regarded as fairly high. It's also worth noting that this is a prevalent feature of tech and growth stocks, which are valued primarily for their technological potential rather than their sales volume or profitability. Even with the dramatic decline of over 60% year-to-date, it's difficult to call NEO shares a bargain. It's plausible to believe that the market is underestimating NEO's potential for growth. If this company can demonstrate that its business model can develop much beyond expectations, particularly if it becomes the dominant EV player in China, its stock will automatically rise. However, considering all the recent losses in Chinese stocks and the tech sector, purchasing NEO today is a speculative idea. There's a lot of upside potential, but also it has a lot of potential to be a bottomless pit for investors' money. The worst case scenario for NEO is that its stock remains unchanged. There's no room for compromise. Either an eye or shares will fall loose or fly to the moon with the potential to make shareholders extremely wealthy. 
Now let's talk about the NEO prices. It's a dream of mine to develop a mass market electric vehicle brand. Following the crash of NEO stocks on Monday, the electric car EV finished on a high note on Tuesday, jumping as high as 8.3% in early trade. The electric vehicle manufacturer also revealed that the ET7 model, which was unveiled on NEO Day 2020, will go into production on January 20th. Then on March 28th, 2022, deliveries will begin. The starting price is $51,250, published at 9.16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 18th, 2022. In 2021, NEO had a lackluster performance on the stock exchanges with shares lagging the industry. The electric vehicle from China Electric Vehicles is the future of the automobile business. The company's popularity stems from its location. China is expected to be the world's largest consumer market for electric vehicles, as well as its quickly increasing deliveries. Between April and September, NEO delivered more luxury electric SUVs than in the entire year of 2019. According to a regulatory statement issued on May 9th, a major stakeholder, Norway's central bank, Norges Bank, apparently sold its entire holding in the EVM maker last quarter, which didn't help NEO's situation. So, when CNEV Post, a Chinese new energy vehicle-focused website, announced a development this morning that appears to be critical to NEO's future, the market was quick to snap up some shares ahead of the EV maker, especially after a stress dive. According to CNEV Post, NEO has signed an agreement with an economic development zone in Hafei, China, to build a plant for a new mid-to-high-end brand it plans to introduce. According to CNEV, the project might be developed and put into production as early as 2024. NEO's new brand will compete with other companies such as Tesla and Volkswagen, and the NEO's first sub-brand goods are still under development. This is noteworthy since it confirms the company's stated desire to build a mass market brand. CEO William Lee stated on the company's fourth quarter earnings conference call that the company will not follow Tesla's lead and launch vehicles with high price caps, instead focusing on a price range of $30,000 to $50,000 per car to appeal to the public. NEO has declared numerous times that its goal is to build mass market electric vehicles that are also superior to Tesla vehicles. If the CNEV's latest report is any indication, NEO appears to be on pace. In any event, the industry as a whole has merely scratched the surface of its possibilities. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, by 2050, there will be 672 million EVs on the road, up from less than 10 million today. For Tesla, NEO, and other automakers eager to jump into the electric vehicle pool, this is a major opportunity. It appears that investors are blind to it. Despite a credible, optimistic 2020 forecast, NEO stock has dropped by half since January. It's anyone's guess whether or not NEO cars will beat Tesla, but if EV's newest report is any indication, NEO appears to be on track. In any case, the entire event industry has only begun to scrape the surface of its potential. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the total number of EVs on the road will increase from fewer than 10 million presently to 672 million by 2050. That's a huge opportunity for Tesla, NEO, and a slew of other automakers who want to dive headfirst into to the electric vehicle pool. Investors, it appears, do not see it. NEO stock has been reduced in half since January, despite a credible, optimistic 2020 forecast. The global chip scarcity hasn't improved matters, and it could be the main cause of this all-profit taking. Consider the big picture and the long-term goal. The shortage of semiconductors will eventually be resolved. Well, that's it for today. What are your views? Would you ever utilize a battery car yourself? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel below.